Good morning. It's another Relax and Paint, and I'm going to do something that's one of my favorite paintings today, and that is roses. But I have a different color with a different background. And so I want you to think about stepping out of the box, and I put scrapbooking paper before behind a lot. So you don't have to do a background. You can just buy a scrapbooking, uh, scrapbooking paper. Um, Yes, am I saying that right? Yeah. <laughs> and so it's early, so I have to um, take a deep breath myself and know that we're going to relax and paint something fun. And I want to show you the tools I used to do that with. But I just want to tell you a little spiritual thought that I was reading um, this morning, and it talked about be better today than we were tomorrow. I mean, yesterday. Be better than we were yesterday and better tomorrow than we were today. So better at what? You only know what you need to get, what you need to improve on. I know the things I need to improve on and sometimes we don't see ourselves. So deep down inside, we know if we're talking the whole time, um, and not let other people talk, or if in our minds we're thinking about what we're going to say to this person as they're sharing a story with us. So it's like our thoughts of what we want to say are more important than theirs. So you need to think about it. And spiritually, um, I skip, we were not here much yesterday. And so I didn't get to read my scriptures in the morning and things kind of weren't the same because the way you start your day, like painting with me, <laughs> might make a difference in your whole day. Okay, that's my little thought for today. So would you like to paint? All right, so let me go to the overhead camera and share with you what's gonna happen today. So I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna use a medium blue. Now we're using multi-surface, um, folk art multi-surface paint, glass, metal, ceramic, all these surfaces that it'll go on to. And I have decided to use some orange colors for a rose with some blues. All right, so I'm going to use my sponge painters. These are Donna Dewberry, my Donna Dewberry sponge painters. And they're foam, but they have this rigid top on it. So this top I use to sand, um, like if I base coat wood, I sand the nubs off after I've painted it, it's dried and it raises the grain, all right? And so the reason that I use this, put this on my sponge also, is that if you use a regular sponge and you go like this, your finger marks show. With this, it doesn't leave finger marks and also see this edge? I can push on this edge to go and do a straight line, all right? So on these sponges, I'm going to wet with my fingers and some water, all right? I have a large one and a small one. These are well used, <laughs> all right? And so now I'm going to pick up the blue and the white. So imagine this. It could be aqua. It could be dark blue but I wanted a blue with this bright orange and yellow rose on top. It's more yellow, but I put the orange because it gives a really pretty color. All right, so then what I want to do, let me come up so we see better here. I want to have stronger blue on one side and kind of move over to a lighter color. Now what I want you to see is that this is going to um, those circular motions goes into the fibers okay let me get my brushes out of the way and you're taking a deep breath before you get started this morning so I'm hoping that I inspire you to go get some paint today and start painting Oh, by the way, these are $6.99 on my website on onestroke.com. Go check out onestroke.com for your painting needs. We have lots of product there. 
and um, over 250 lessons that you can watch. Okay, be sure to join our Facebook group. Our Facebook group is Donna Dewberry's official, Dewberry's hit with an S, official one stroke group. And what happens is everybody gets on there and shares and helps people as, as our painting. Now, what I want you to see is there's something that I don't ever want you to do. When you're picking up the blue or a hard color and you come from the outside, I'm blending with the rest of the sponge. So it's, it's hard to make that blend. So if you turn the sponge this way and go to the outside edge, then this blends, the, see, it blends it. Now, I've done that quite a few times, but I still have people that I have to say, this is your problem, and they go, I don't understand. So, lots of white on this side. All right, so I can also do different little movement. I like movement in the background, see? little bit of movement. See? Could be like little clouds, but I'm just having the, the pretty medium blue. It's medium blue. Did I tell y'all that? It's morning, so maybe I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> okay, there we go. All around the edges. This is a wrap canvas. Have you been enjoying my classes? Did you check out? I have wreaths of the month on um, Plaid Online. You can go to Plaid Online and watch our Let's Paint classes. And then I have flowers of the month all year last year and wreaths of the month this year. So come check them out and, and make sure that you share your pictures of what you do, okay? All right, there we go. Now, I wanted to know if you started the practice strokes with me. So if you've been painting, or you wanna paint, or this is far as you wanna paint, I started a new series right here on Fridays at lunch. So come check them out, and it will help you, because when you say, what do I buy? Well, I have on my, look, this is a package, see, sponge painters. I have on my, um, on my onestore.com, I have beginner kits, and it gives you, my daughter is in the office, she can help you. It gives you everything you need to get started as a beginner um, and not spend too much money, so just experiment with it, okay? So there we go. So see, I've got some darker, some lighter. I can even say, I can even put a little bit of more blue in here. This is ink spot. Say I, say I decided I want a little bit darker. See how I rubbed it into the wet sponge? And look, I can tap it or I can rub it in. Okay, I'm excited. I had a newbie on with me yesterday where I was doing, I did private lessons and she is in the UK and we worked on a private lesson and I can't believe what she learned just on these YouTube classes and she already never painted before in her life so it's really fun. So my new friend Kelly from the UK. All right, so you don't have to let this totally dry because I do paint a lot wet on wet, all right? So I'm gonna fold my sponge up and put it in my cubby of my water basin so it doesn't dry out till I'm ready to go clean it, all right? So I'm gonna come in with my 16 
And I am going to start doing, I already put the paint out here. I'm going to wet my brush, lay it on the paper towel, and I'm going to go between these two colors and work it in. So I split the brush here. This is my double loader. It helps you double load really good. All right, it has a lid for here and a lid on top with a sponge, which keeps your paint from drying out. So you can go day to day and use the same paint. With seven children, I would squeeze the paint and get called from the school or whatever and have to run out. And I'm like, okay, that paint's so good now. So I've got both colors on here. So I'm going to come out a little bit on the chisel of the brush, right on the chisel. And I'm going to put, this is a rose bush. And I want this rose bush to have all kinds of little branches. Okay. And the key, I think, to this is I love the pretty blue in the background. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up more dark. This is a 16 flat. If you don't have that, you can use a 12. But the 16 works a little bit better. So I am going to put some dark leaves in the background. All right. And as soon as you stroke the, the leaf, guys, you want to come in there and pull a stem in. So watch. I'm going to go and pull a stem. Now the stem is with the chisel. So if I, this should feel like butter. It should go on like butter. So if I slide this side and then I come right here and lift the front and drag a stem inside. All right, so I'm going to keep picking up paint, go in here, get a little bit of medium when I need to, and I can paint right from there for a while. Wiggle out, and then I can push back, or I can just do a whole bunch of little green strokes, or watch this. I can take and do some areas in the background like this. And what it looks like is just leaves in the background. Okay. Slip, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap. And if you watch some of my Reese of the Month, it's on plaidonline.com. You can see all of my free lessons there too. I'm getting ready to do a whole class on backgrounds. And you can find that after I do it this month on onestroke.com. Right, so see I put more dark in there, but I do want I want all my leaves, I mean my roses to really show. So I'm going to do a few more leaves. I put light green on the outside or dark green. See, pull the stems. And just know that I'm going to put some roses all over on top of all these. Okay, so we can take a little bit when it's in a distance you couldn't see. If it's in a distance, you won't see those leaves. But see, I'm barely touching little bits. And I keep going right here to this puddle where I load it. All right, so. So if I have roses in between, this little bit of dark's just in the background, right? Is that looking like something? Now, some of this I put in after I paint my roses. Okay. It's 
So some will come down like this from the rows. We have big cabbage roses in there. Okay, so like I said, put some greenery later too if you want to. All right, I'm going to wash this brush and I'll use some of this for the 16 for some of the little buds. So what do y'all think? See how pretty that blue is on the back? This is just a really pretty yummy. Um, that was a little bit ink spot and medium blue, okay? Now, even if you don't put these leaves and you just put little bits of green behind it, it's going to look good. And you can, as you grow, you can learn more leaves. So watch my practice strokes and you'll learn my leaves. So this is moon yellow, pure orange, daffodil yellow, and wicker white. So I'm going to come right here and I'm using the pure orange for the depth. And this is my three quarter inch flat brush. Okay, a little bit of white. So orange again. Okay. So we're going to come right here. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more white. And look, I'm going to go around. Okay, now I'm going to leave that one. So all I did was tap all the way around with a lighter color. And I need a smaller brush to finish that inside. But when I'm here, I want a bigger rose. See? So watch again. i got to get more. And some daffodil, maybe. Okay, so I just tap, tap, tap. That's not my traditional rose, right? And then I'm going to come back in here again and pick up daffodil. But I need some white too. <clears throat> here we go. I want to pick up white. Okay, so let's get closer so you can see what I'm doing. I just came around and laid it flat and picked up some white. Okay, so more orange and more, more of the daffodil yellow. All right, so what's going to happen is we're going to take and do little strokes. Pat, 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 pat. So I get more white, pat, 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 pat. So look what I keep doing. Okay, that flattens the brush and that picks up white. Isn't that kind of pretty? Alrighty, we're going to come right here. Alright, so I'm just doing a triangle. See that? Where do you put the next one, two, three? That's going to go around here. A little bit more white. The white really makes a difference. You see that up, down, down, down. All right, I'm using the three quarter and you can try the 16 if you feel more comfortable. So I can probably do this one too, but this is just going to be the back side of it. I'm going to chop, 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 and it's down inside. There's the bud. And so I'm going to just keep going like this, pull, 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 pull. And if I keep going up the edge, it looks like the side view. 
Isn't that kind of fun? All right, this one you can see inside more. And then, isn't that pretty color? It's really more yellow, but it looks kind of orange, so it makes it really nice. Okay, now up here. I'm going to make it, this is a top edge. So you're seeing the side view of a rose. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're taking a deep breath and relaxing. Okay, tap, 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 tap. Then, look, pull, pull, pull. Then I'm going to do some other petals here. See, watch this. Push out and out and. All right, so this is going to be a, a side view. Okay, so pull, pull. Push down, pull. Okay, you see that? And then I lay the white and then across, across, lay the white and cross, across. So it's kind of the side view of a rose. Are you liking it? All right. I don't want you to be stressed out with a lot to do. So let's just come back here and do this big one here. And then I'm gonna do a couple of rosebuds. A couple little like up, over, down, up, down, down, down. Okay, so just little buds. And then I can just take a little bits of the corner. Just a little bit of orange. In the background. little bit out here. And a little bit in here off the edge. It's just a little bit of a reflex or reflection. See how I tap that over here? Just little bits. So when when you're walking by and this hug on the wall, you're gonna get a little bit of orange on there. Okay, so let's finish this guy. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one a little bit down and have the bud down here. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over so you can see it. Are you having fun? I hope I inspire you. To try this rose. Chisel, chisel, chisel. See? So you just want to be on the chisel of the brush, look, standing up. Flat into the paint. Now, can you see this one is going down? This one's up, this one's here, that one's that way. And then these little buds. So I can come in here with a little bit of dark orange on one corner. See, I'm just tapping it. Little tabs. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
I hope you look forward to these lessons each week. It's fun to know that you're excited to learn something new each week. So tell me what you think about that background. Isn't that fun? All right. And I'm going to get my script liner. And I'm going to make it a little inky with water, not medium, okay? And I come in here with little dabs. So just little teeny dabs in here. Gives you the illusion that you've got some green going on in here. Just little teeny dabs, okay? It's in the space, it's empty. Look. So not really curly cues, but just little, little dabs. I'm going to sign my name. Inky Script Liner. All right. I can also tap a little, little bits of green. Little bits of green. I just came down there too far. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of citrus on top of that so it's not just dark. Isn't that kind of nice? There you go, our quick little morning project. So I hope I inspired you and encouraged you. <clears throat> so I will see you hopefully on Friday or if not next week. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.